let's go over molecular versus condensed formulas in organic chemistry. Sometimes you may not be given the structure directly, but instead be given a specific formula and have to convert that into its structure. A lot of the time, you will be given what is called a condensed molecular formula that looks like this. Remember, molecular formulas tell us how many of each atom are in the molecule, such as C5H12, which has 5 carbons and 12 hydrogens. But a condensed formula tells us how those atoms are bonded to each other. For example, if we look at the following condensed formula, this still has 5 carbons along with a total of 12 hydrogens. The only difference is that it tells us how our groups are bonded to each other. Remember, our parentheses allow us to group parts together that are repeated in a molecule. The groups in the parentheses will also be bonded to the atom just before the parentheses begin. For example, if we start with this carbon, it is bonded to three hydrogens in our other carbon, which we can see is bonded to two hydrogens and then bonded to our other carbon. And this is where it may seem tricky. We can see our carbon is bonded to another hydrogen, but we can't forget about these methyl groups, which we call is CH3. Since these methyl groups are in parentheses with a two on the outside, this means our carbon will be bonded to two methyl groups. There are so many videos and practice exams and practice problems all waiting for you on community.com.